In this tutorial, we will implement the dropzone.js library to actually start uploading images to galleries. But before I go into the uploading part, there is one thing which I have missed out, which is adding the middleware to the controller. So what happens is currently I'm not logged in, but I'm still able to go to the gallery slash list URL. Now this is a functionality which is available directly with Laravel which are called middlewares and there is one middleware which is already present which is Authenticate. So how do we add this to our controller? I'll go to gallery controller and I'll create the constructor method. Construct. In this I'll say this middleware and I'll pass auth as one of the argument all right let's save it and one more change which we will need to do in case your login URL is different from auth slash login so if you see our routes my login is on slash which is the main page so I will change this URL which is you know when it detects that the user is not authenticated it redirects it so that should go to slash go to my application and let's hit refresh and I am back to the login screen so which means now I need to login and then I can go to gallery slash list but for some reason if I log out and again hit the URL gallery slash list I am redirected back to this page so let's start with the code where we are actually going to implement dropzone.js you can find the library on this website it's a beautiful library where you can drag and drop images and also select multiple ones so let's just try it out I have few screenshots saved on my home page sorry on my desktop so these are the ones and I'll just select three images and say upload and it gives me a nice progress bar shows the indicators and a small thumbnail as well right so let's get started implementing it okay now I'm not going to download the JS files and also the CSS files which are supporting to this library but I'll instead look for the CDN versions. So I'll say drop zone JS CDN. And most of the time you'll find the common libraries already present in this website CDN.js. So I will quickly add them to my master.blade so that they are available on all pages. Drop zone dot min dot JS, right? So this JavaScript should go inside the script section okay and time to add the CSS as well should be the min dot CSS I was looking at this but fine we have this one so I'm calling all.css here so I can include it here right sure. so we have the drop zone CSS and JS in our master blade if you quickly refresh you will see I am CDN Cloudflare I'm actually referring to those JS files which are here as well as here right okay Time to shut that tab and so now I will build the form where the drop zone will place its own drag and drop interface and also I'll pass a few variables which are required for the post to work. So let's quickly pull out the blade gallery view blade and inside this this is going to be a new row class row and inside this 
I'll have call MD12 and then I'll have a form with action which will take me to the route URL image slash do dash upload okay let's come here and I'll need some additional attributes as well which are uh, which will be I need to add a class I'll say drop zoom and then I'll give it an ID which is add images all right now by doing this if I go back to my view you can see I have this new element on the page if I click on it I get this upload file dialog box and if I select any one of the file you can see it is doing a post request to the image dash do upload now if I go to the URL the first thing is token mismatch exception which means Laravel is checking for the CSRF token because it is a post request so we need to first tackle that situation so let's quickly go and add the CSRF underscore field function this will print the token inside the form hit refresh and if you see the source code we have a new hidden field called token with the value so now if I select an image and say upload at least the request is going right so the next step is I will also need to pass the gallery ID to the post request so that I can figure out which gallery this particular image is related to so one easy step is to basically pass a hidden input field with the value so I'll say input this will be a hidden input field name will be gallery underscore ID and the value will be dollar gallery ID right time to check hit refresh go here and yes I'm loading value equals one let's change to some other gallery monsoon picks the ID is 4 here's the source code and I am getting value equals 4 alright so with this done the next step is to actually work with the controller and handle the file request so what are we going to do let's go to our controller let me quickly close other files and come here yeah first we are going to get the file from the post request all right then I'm going to set my file name the thing is many users may have images with the same file name so we will handle a new file name once that is done we will move the file to the correct location and finally I will save the image details into the database so the first thing is get the file name so I'll save dollar file equals request file and the name is file as well now how do I know that the file will be inside the file key well by default whenever we create the drop zone widget now it automatically assumes this is the convention right so if you go here and 
so dollar file equals request file which is done now I need to set the file name now I can append the timestamp or I can do something else I'll say file name equals unique ID and then dollar file get client original name so basically I'm concatenating the unique ID which is a random generated string with the clients original file name right with that done now my next task in hand is to move the file to the correct location so I'll say file move gallery slash images slash uh, no no slash and then the file name sorry okay before we actually save the image details to the database we have two things pending to do first is we don't have a model for images right so what I will do is quickly go to my terminal and I'll say PHP artisan make model image right let's come here and the first thing which I'll do is I'll set up the fillable property with this setup now one more thing which we need to do is we need to set the relationship of the gallery and the image in the model right so I'll say public function gallery and this gallery belongs to I'm sorry this image belongs to a gallery right so app gallery with this relation in place what we are saying is that the model gallery is related to image and the connection is gallery underscore ID that's something which we want right so the image is now related to the gallery and next we will set up a relation to the model gallery we will say image and in this I'll say return dollar this so a gallery has many app slash images sorry image okay the last part is saving the image for that first we need to get the gallery right so dollar gallery equals gallery find and I'll pass the ID so it will be request input gallery underscore ID because that's the hidden fields name okay and then dollar image equals dollar gallery images right and then we will do create inside this in this I will now add all the required fields uh, let me quickly check I think inside gallery this is image so a gallery should have many images so this should be plural form right <coughs> now this makes sense this should be exactly what I have mentioned here okay so I quickly need to add all the fields which I need to save in the image ta image table so 
these are all the data points which I'm going to capture. The gallery ID will be coming from the request input gallery ID. This is same as the hidden input field name. File name, I have already a variable which I am creating here. The file size, file mime type, I'll get from dollar $file. These are the internal functions available. The file path is something which I am designing here. I'll create a folder called gallery and inside that I will have images. And inside images, I'll store the file with the file name. And last, created by will be the user ID of the current logged in user. Okay, so our post request has been handled. And now let's try to use it and see if something is visible. Let me just refresh it before starting again. So click here, select one image, upload. I have an error. Let's quickly check what's the error. It's called to undefined method uploaded file mode gallery controller line 66 okay a typo so just refresh it once more open up the console select the image I have not included the auth class so quickly I'll go here eliminate support facades auth so now let's try upload one more image so now let's upload the image and see if everything is working fine select the image the post request is going we get a check this is done and now into my database refresh and yes I have everything in place and now if I go to the public folder public inside that I have gallery images and we have one image if we open it Yes, this is the image which I have uploaded, right? Now, this tutorial is already long, so I will be cutting it short. And in my next tutorial, I'll show you how we can fetch the images in our gallery view. Right now we are showing it. And also how we can tweak the drop zone library to show the thumbnails as soon as they are uploaded and some other stuff thanks for watching